Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss pressure and flow in capillaries. Dear students, the wall of the arteries and arterioles has smooth muscles. These smooth muscles become discontinuous when they subdivide to form the meta arterioles. So meta arteriolar wall jo hai usme smooth muscle continuous nahi balki discontinuous ho jata hai. Aur jab tak capillary shuru hone lagti hai that is the capillary end yahan par smooth muscle ends lekin end hone se pehle it forms a ring. This ring is called peri capillary a pre capillary sphincter. This pre capillary sphincter along with the innervated smooth muscles of the arteriole play an important role in the control of circulation in capillary beds. Ye jo pre capillary sphincter or smooth muscle of the arteriole hai, they can alter the blood distribution within the tissue. Dear students, the tissues have networks of capillaries, but all capillaries are not open or closed at a time. Kuch capillaries ek tissue mein open hoti hain aur kuch band rehti hain. In most tissues, about 30 to 50 percent of the capillaries are open to flow at a time. Kuch tissues, jaise ke brain, hai is mein zyada tar capillaries tend to remain open. While in some tissues, like the skin, most of the capillaries tend to remain closed at a time. Dear students, all capillaries in a network are only a short distance away from the arteriole. Chukke ye arteriole se zyada fasle par nahi hoti, is liye pressure or flow poore arteria, poore capillary bed ke andar takriban constant rehta hai. The transmural pressures within a capillary bed are around 10 millimeter mercury. The capillary pressures result in the filtration or coming out of fluid from blood into the interstitial spaces. In most tissues, the net movement is that how much fluid capillary is out of और कितना reabsorb हुआ capillary में इसे हम net movement of fluid कहेंगे this net movement of fluid is minimal क्योंकि अगर इसकी वजह से volume of the tissue remains constant अगर arterial pressure में इजाफा हो जाए तो it also increases capillary pressure Increase in capillary pressure increases the outflow of fluid from the uh, blood into the tissue. This causes rise in the volume of the tissue which is called tissue edema. Just make a tissues ke andar fluid ki quantity bad jati hai. In kidneys we see that the capillary pressure is always high. This pressure is known as filtration pressure. This pressure ki madad se kidneys ultra filtrate banate hain jo ke urine mein convert hota hai. Kidneys is ki capillaries ke is high pressure ki wajah se kidneys are encapsulated to prevent the swelling of the tissue or edema. 